Well, it's been over 47 minutes now, and this thing is still going. So we're not going to wait any longer. We're going to restart it. And once I've got it up and running, we will go through the whole system. Uh, first of all, this is um, just a push button switch or a key as they call it on this uh, little electronics lab kit. We're running off 4.5 volts. That goes through a 100 ohm resistor and then to the switch and then to our run cap here. The resistor is just to stop me popping the um, fuse inside the meter, the amp meter, um, without uh, sending a whole surge of current through it. So, <coughs> just going to charge our cap up. See this one here. And that's about it. Alright, so the system's up and running at the moment. And uh, first thing I'll show you before we go through the circuit, you can see it's drawing yay mini Amelia, uh, they're their micro amps. Both well, that meter set on micro amps, and this one on bolts. So that's the bolts across this cap. And that is the current being drawn from that cap. It will go down as the voltage goes down. What we're going to do now, we're going to take our clip lead here and we're going to loop the system. Like yay. And you can see immediately that our current draw has dropped right down, which of course will slow the voltage drop down. We're now going to introduce our variable resistor, which is set. And uh, is across our inductor to make up our tank circuit. Switch that on. You can see once again we drop the current draw down 7.7 .7 microamps at the moment. So we'll let that run. Uh, we'll just turn the voltage level down so we can see what's going on here. There we go, got it stable. <coughs> Alright, so now we'll run through the circuit. <coughs> this coil here is just a sniffer coil. Um, same of the ones we used in the cool jewels. And that is just to tell us what's happening across our um, drive coil. Now, the circuit is that delicate, I can't hook the scope up anywhere on it. Otherwise, it just totally messes things up. So, that's that coil. A little one to one toroid transformer here. We're coming out of the LED, going through one side of the transformer, and then we go back to this little 470 UF cap. That is a cap that's capturing uh, the return energy from the system and dumping it back into it. Now a little transistor here, NPN transistor, I don't know what it is, I can't read the numbers on it. So, just a crappy little transistor, signal transistor, I guess it would be on something like this. And it's being driven by our frequency generator, or signal generator, whatever you like to call them. 30.063 kilohertz seems to be the best for this air coil. 3 volts peak to peak and our offset is 1.5 volts. So 1.5 volts positive at a 5% duty cycle. <coughs> this is what is powering the transistor base. <coughs> we're coming off of our signal generator and we're going through this 22k ohm resistor. From that resistor we then go to this 50k ohm pot which is about halfway so probably another 20k ohms on top about 22 for a total of 44k ohms resistance before the base uh, this little gizmo here is a variable capacitor and it is tuned perfectly at the moment to our air core coil 
um, to make up a tank circuit which as you've seen if I switch it off sorry on and then if I switch it off we increase our current draw so we'll leave that switched on and it has to be very finely tuned to the frequency going through that there coil to do any good. Alright, so from our battery, uh, positive, we go right across to the 100 ohm resistor. From the 100 ohm resistor, we go across to our key, and then on the other side of our key, goes through our amp meter here and then into the positive side of the cap. The cap is a 4700 UF 25 volt cap. When I release the key, of course that disconnects the battery and we are running purely off of that cap. <coughs> um, circuit, it's just a basic transistor switch circuit coming off the collector going through the little germanium diode that goes through the LED the LED goes through this 1 to 1 transformer uh, simply so as I can hook the scope which is the blue trace in this case on the scope across the other side and we can have a bit of a look see what's going across our LED like I said I have to do it this way because the scope interferes with the whole system if it's hooked directly to it uh, and of course one side of the coil also goes to the positive side of the cap which is there so after we come out of that inductor <coughs> transformer, whatever you want to call it we go back to this 470 UF cap um, and then from that 470 UF cap we are dumping it back into the system after the amp meter. So that is why when we disconnect the feedback you can see our current draw goes up and when we hook the feedback into the system after the amp meter the current draw from that cap goes down. <coughs> so at the moment 5.1 microamps and 3.8 volts. I better put this back on here just so we can see what's going on. A little sniffer coil. As you can see, the waveform is quite stable. Here's some of the voltages of what's happening across the system if you want to have a look. Like I said, the yellow trace <coughs> is our sniffer coil, and the blue trace is the one on the one to one transformer. Uh, not much more to say about that other than the last run time was what, 56.25 before we stopped having oscillations across our scope and the one before that, which we were just watching when we started the video, uh, nope, I've gone and cleared it. Alright, so we don't know that 40 something minutes it was anyway. <coughs> so that's it, we're using nothing but a crappy old air core coil out of a transformer, uh, same as the ones we used on the cool jewel, and of course our sniffer coil we just sit on there so we can see what's happening. And the LED still goes. Now the LED will stop giving off visible light at about 36 minutes, but it will keep oscillating for nearly an hour, all under its own steam. So that's the uh, circuit we have at the moment. Like I said, with nothing but a plain Jane. 
aircore coil and this was just to have a look at how well we could get an air core going as opposed to these fancy cooler wound coils and um, at the moment I don't see too much magic in the um, cooler coils because this air core coil seems to do just as good if not better So uh, that's what we have. First we start off with a uh, benchmark, then we'll go and wind one of these fancier cooler coils and uh, see what we can do with that and see if they really are fancy or they're no better than a plain Jane coil coil. So uh, for a run time of nearly an hour on a 4700 UF cap not too bad I don't think out of half of a transformer alright guys uh, I'll get this up and posted and uh, get yourself one of these kits these are absolutely fantastic for doing this sort of thing so many components you can use so easy to hook up <coughs> and when you're finished you simply just grab all the wires and you pull them out and that's it and you can try a different circuit Well worth their money, saves so much time. Uh, even, even as a speaker we can have a listen to the circuit. Digital readout. And of course it comes with its book of 130 different uh, devices you can make straight away. Alright guys, I'll get this up posted and see what you think about that. But uh, an hour of oscillations and about 25 minutes of LED runtime off of one... 4700 UF cap. Cheers guys.